For the complete recipe, please check out ivyskitchen.net. We are going to poach our chicken in water. Once that is done, you want to shred your chicken. While that cooks, heat up some oil in your wok and saute your onions and garlic until fragrant. Once your onion and garlic is fragrant, that is when I like to add the carrots, the snow peas, and I like to saute this for about a minute. After a minute's pass, that is when I add my cabbage. And I only cook my cabbage until al dente. You don't want to overcook your vegetables. Set your veggies aside and heat up some oil. To this, we are going to add our Chinese sausage and we are just gonna fry this till it's nice and cooked through. Set that aside and drain the excess fat on a paper towel. Add new oil and saute your shrimp. Set the shrimp aside and add your pork. And we're going to cook this until it is cooked through. When the pork is almost done cooking, that is when I like to add the shredded chicken just to warm it up. And we're gonna set that mixture aside. In that wok, add your chicken broth, your soy sauce, and your oyster sauce. Bring that to a boil, and we are going to add the Ponset Bihon cornstarch sticks. We want to add the Ponset uh, to the chicken broth, and we're going to let the Ponset soak up the chicken broth, as shown. And we're gonna keep mixing until most of the chicken broth has evaporated. Once the chicken broth's evaporated, add your veggie. And the meat that we previously cooked. And don't forget the shiitake mushrooms. And we're gonna mix until all the ingredients are incorporated. I like to garnish my pancit with green onions, and I like to serve it with calamansi or lemon slices. And that's how simple it is to make my pancit bihon. Thank you for watching Ivy's Kitchen. Please don't forget to subscribe. For the complete recipe, please check out ivyskitchen.net. Until next time, happy cooking!